Hey, I'm Connie Knox, genealogist for NC Ancestry. Recently, I put together a series of videos about the New Hanover County Public Library. Coming up next is about the Lewis T. Moore collection within the special collections there at the New Hanover County Public Library. So Lewis T. Moore was a photographer, an author, and a historian. And some of the work he did was phenomenal. So we're going to find out from Joe Shepard here in just a minute about the Lewis T. Moore collection. But you know what? I was so fascinated with this guy's story that I created a documentary about, I don't know, a few years ago. And it's on ncancestry.com if you want to watch it. So now let's go talk to Joe Shepard and find out what he had to say about the Lewis T. Moore collection. Well, there was the Louis Moore collection I mentioned. I showed you some of those photographs. When Mr. Moore worked for the Chamber, or was that was the Chamber of Commerce, as a businessman, he took his camera and photographed various things, such as people and buildings and events, to help promote this community as a resource. He wanted to promote tourism, people to move here, to build businesses, economy, that type of stuff. His photograph collections reflect that, and when you look in the pictures, you can see, oh, he's trying to get people to see how wonderful his beach is. And there just happens to be a couple of bathing beauties off to the side, you know, wearing 1930s costumes, but it's, it's just the point is there. We use those collections, of course, today to help us with the history of that time period. Or what buildings were there, or he went out and sometimes photographed graveyards without realizing he was photographing a graveyard. Uh, Mr. Moore might have been interested in a particular house or building, but you look at the picture and you can see other things going on in those pictures. The photographs are tremendous in that regard because, yes, they were done by one person for a specific event, and his intentions, of course, were never for them to be here at the library. To what, I mean, he probably never envisioned that's what they would become, but now they've also became a great research tool for people as well as Mr. Moore's personal papers that came from his job, the correspondence he had with various people, or he might have clipped something from a newspaper based on a particular subject that he was researching or helping somebody do research with, or complimented the photograph collections. Is that so information indexed? They are partially indexed, yes, on actual index-typed cards. Uh -huh. They are not electronic. 